everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I thought I would do my go-to hair and makeup look. You guys know this is something that I wear a lot and it's actually been really highly requested. I do film a lot of my sort of go-to makeup looks or drugstore makeup looks and this is just the look that I've been doing a lot at the moment. I know we are all in quarantine at the moment so we can't actually go out but if I want some Instagram pictures or if I just want to practice my makeup I do find it really therapeutic doing my makeup so that might help you guys out in any way but yeah I just enjoy doing it and I just wanted to share with you guys my go-to hair and my makeup. I've had a lot of messages at the moment saying how do you do your hair? I love the waves that you do so I would show you guys how I've done them in today's video. This video is partly sponsored by Foxy Locks and I'm going to show you guys how I use their 7 in 1 curling wand. I've had this basically ever since it came out and I haven't used another curling wand since. It is literally incredible and there's seven different ones that you can choose from and it's just so good so I'll show you guys how I use this and all the amazing things about this device so yeah this curling wand is just incredible and thank you so much to Foxy Locks for working with me on today's video but yeah this is genuinely my go-to hair and makeup look these are the products that I use and all of that kind of stuff I will leave them all linked for you guys in the description box down below I will remember this time I always forget but I will remember um and yeah I hope you guys are all good staying safe and if you want to know how to get this hair and makeup look then please keep watching okay so i am gonna start off with my hair because whenever i curl my hair i like to do it before i get ready just so it gives it time for the curls to sort of cool down and then i brush it out and then you get the really nice waves i get questions all the time about how i do it so i thought i would do an updated video to show you guys today to literally go nowhere but still <laughs> still feel nice um i'm gonna pop the lee stafford in keep it clean pink clay this is a prep and prime product so i just do a pump and then i rub it in my hands and then i literally Actually, just pop it all in the ends um, and it smells amazing and it's just going to protect your hair when you do curl it. I do like to use um, heat protective products but sometimes I feel like they don't really work but this is really good so I just pop it in. Focus on the ends, don't do the root because your hair will then get greasy and then I literally part my hair into two and then I pop that up here and then what I'm gonna do is part my hair again into two and then I twist this top bit grab a clip pop it up like that so I'm gonna start curling on this section of the hair first and to do that I use the Foxy Lock 7 in 1 curling wand you guys know I use this every single time I curl my hair it is honestly incredible they've obviously got seven different ones that you can choose so I think buying a product like this is so much more beneficial than buying loads of different ones because it's gonna save you space it, it's like a set so they all look really pretty together and you're gonna save your you're gonna save yourself money in the long run because it all comes together so it's just incredible after 30 minutes of it realizing that you're not using it so say if you curl your hair pop it on the side and you forget that you've left it on which we've all done we've all done um, it will turn off automatically for you so you haven't got that worry like when you leave your house if your curling one's on or not it will automatically turn off which is just really helpful especially if you're in a rush in the mornings which I'm sure we're not really anymore but on a normal day to day basis we would have been so the temperature does go up to 220 degrees which is just amazing um, and I'm using the middle barrel so there's three barrels which are all the same and i'm using the middle one i just feel like it's really good for my hair i'm going to get a longer hair extension soon hopefully when i can um, and i'll probably use the bigger one for that but for now this is actually really perfect and i also like to curl away from my face i feel like i get such nicer curls that way and it just it flows a lot better so that's what I'm doing. And then another tip I like to do, after I've curled it, I just pop it in my hands like this. It might be a little bit hot, so probably best if you use the gloves if you're not used to curling your hair. I'm so used to curling my hair all the time. So I don't really use a glove, which I should. And then once I've held it, you can pin it if you want. I just prefer the look just doing it like this. I'm gonna grab some hairspray. This one is from Lee Stafford. And I pop it like this and then it will stay like that. And this way it just gives it time for the curl to sort of cool down while you're doing your makeup. So I do three sections at the bottom. My face looks so pale. I think I've got the setting on wrong. Can we work it out? Only time will tell. It's gonna take a lot. Cause we've been through hell. I can't be without you. I've tried and I failed. So can we work it out? Yeah. Once 
once I've curled everything, what I'm then going to do is just pop it back. And then I like to get two clips. It can be whatever clips you want. And I literally just follow the way that the curl's going. So, for example, I'll twist this away from my face and then just clip it. And then that way the curl can just hold, but it's also out of my face. So it's literally perfect. So you sort of twist and then you grab your clip. Okay, so I have just done my brows because they take me the longest time and I feel like in all my videos I always show you guys how I do them so I thought I would just skip that step today. Um, I'm going to jump in with my Elemis Soothing Apricot Toner. You can either put this on a cotton pad or spray it on your face. At night when I actually do my proper skincare I do it on a cotton pad just to get any excess off but in the day I like to spray it and it's so good. I'm going to cover my eyebrows though because I've just set them. Honestly, this is so refreshing. It's literally oh, insane. It smells incredible and it's so good for your skin and it just wakes you up in the morning. It's like that extra bit of luxury. So good. And then for moisturiser, of course, I'm going to use my Ole because what else would I use? Literally, it's the best thing ever. I'm just going to pop that all over my face. I need to fake turn my face again. I'm literally so pale. Um, and then obviously any excess I always rub into my hands. Especially at the moment, like washing my hands triple the amount that I usually would. It's really dried out my hands. I've had to take all my rings off because they were literally scabbing because they were bleeding. They were, it was literally so bad. So I'm literally like trying to smother my hands constantly in moisturiser. My skin feels really itchy at the moment because of... I think my skin's just so dry so it's just constantly itchy and I'm like oh so I need to just keep reminding myself to moisturize daily I just forget my hands are always nice and moisturized I move on to primer I'm gonna use this I only use this on days where I want to feel a little bit more luxury and pampered this is the by Terry CC serum in the shade sunny flash yeah honestly this is incredible it's actually skincare and you rub it in and it's incredible underneath makeup it gives you a little bit of color and it just brightens up your face and it just makes you feel incredible can you see i just look instantly glowy and it's really nice to have underneath makeup so i just pop that all over my face just good especially on days if you're not wearing any makeup you can just pop that on and you feel instantly sort of refreshed and looks like you've done your makeup but it's actually skincare so for primer of course i'm going to use the benefit professional i feel like i literally don't use anything else i've got all the benefit ones but i feel like this is a combination of all of them together um i definitely feel like this is the best and i normally put it just around my t-zone because that's where I need to cover up the most pores and then I pop a little bit on my smile lines just to fill them in a little bit. Okay, for foundation I'm going to use my ultimate favourite combination. It is the Hourglass Foundation Stick in the shade Sand. The thing with this, I don't know when it's going to run out because I can't see the foundation stick and I don't want to twist it all the way up so then it breaks. So it's sort of every day I wake up and I'm like, when is it going to stop clicking? I don't know. So I've had it for the longest time. I feel like I'm going to have to buy another one because I literally love this so much. So I just pop bits on like this. I do wear a lot of foundation. I don't know. I feel like I go through stages. Sometimes I wear loads and then sometimes I just wear the littlest bit. I feel like it also depends on the weather. And then what I'm going to do is just grab a brush and then blend it in. I know a lot of people say that my foundation is a lot darker than my face. But I actually match it to my neck because then it makes it all seamless. So sort of, I t if I'd done it to the same colour of my face, it would look so silly. And I also need to fake tan my face because I feel like I haven't done it in about a week. And it's just, you can see the glow of the By Terry underneath. It just makes your makeup look so much nicer and glowier. And it's just so nice to have that extra base of skincare underneath your makeup. So I highly recommend it. And what I do is grab my beauty blender with a little pump of foundation on because beauty blenders soak up sometimes um, the product. And then I just pop that all over my face and this basically pushes everything into my skin and it'll make your makeup look flawless. If you don't use a beauty blender, please try it because it's literally game changing. I literally couldn't do my makeup without it. And then for concealer, 
concealer I'm going to use too. I feel like I always mix products together. I don't know why. I just feel like sometimes I like the coverage of one and then the colour of the other. It just changes. This one is almost empty though like completely so i'm literally scraping the last bits um i'm using the born this way concealer from too faced just popping bits underneath my eyes like that and then over the top i use the maybelline fit me one in the shade 20 this is like an old favorite when i first started my channel i used to use this all the time and it's just it is a really good concealer i don't like the applicator i feel like it's quite small but I think that's because I'm used to using the Too Faced one and uh, the L'Oreal Infallible one and things like that. So the applicator's a lot bigger. But a little does go a long way of this. So I need to just give it some time. But it is actually really good. I haven't used this yet. So for contour, I usually use my the Huda Beauty. It's like shading light. Is it shading light palette? That's something else I'm thinking of, isn't it? The Too Faced. This is the light tantor palette. Um, it's not even a palette, it's just a contour. And then for today, I'm actually going to use Born This Way Concealer in the shade Toffee. I don't know how this is going to go, but we'll find out. I really am into cream contouring at the moment. I just feel like it's weirdly a lot easier. I fall into you. But to blend this out, I'm going to use this brush that I got from Primark. It's so good. If you've seen my Primark brush um, tutorial, this is obviously where I got it from. And it's so good. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Do just what you want. place i'm going to use the huda beauty banana bread loose powder this is incredible it's definitely worth the money and i've had this for the longest time so yeah honestly it's so good and what i like to do is first of all grab a small powder puff this one is from primark and then i just dab it in there literally coat as much as possible and i'm gonna bake a little bit just where my concealer is so i like to smooth my concealer out like so and then get the brush and then slowly just dab it on and then i'm gonna use the benefit hula caramel bronzer and it is just incredible i use a large fan brush and i just really lightly go over and then for my eyes i really like to do a simple eye look all i do is grab my bronzer with a large blending brush and then i literally the thing is you really don't have to be neat i just sort of go in like this all over my eye i start on the crease and then i'll sort of blend up and then blend down <laughs> just try and blend it um yeah you really don't have to be neat but it literally creates such a simple but smoky eye look so i'm just going like this like so and then i'm gonna get a flat brush with the same bronzer and then i dot this underneath my lower lash line just so it all blends together and then literally just keep blending it's honestly the most simple eye look but it's just really quick and easy and it's just a bit more glam and it's just so good that you use bronzer like i literally haven't got any eyeshadow on it's just bronzer and it also falls in place nicely with your face it all sort of blends together because it's all the same color and the good thing about this bronzer you can deepen it up if you want to so i just like to do this so once I pop the bronzer in both of my eyes, not in my eyes, on my eyelids, I'm then going to light my tear duct and my brow bone. So to do that, I'm going to use the Maybelline Face Studio Chrome Extreme Palette. This is in the shade 400 Molten Gold. It's more like a champagne gold. It is honestly so pretty. So I just pop a generous amount on. <laughs> like I literally pop loads on. 
um, my tear duct. It just highlights it instantly, like this. Brow bone. No, that's not my brow bone. That's my cupid's bow, bridge of my nose, and then also my brow bone. And then what I'm gonna do is grab my liner. This is one from Rimmel, it's the Wonder Ink one. It's so good, I always say this, it's like a dupe for the Benefit one, the Benefit Roller Liner, which is, ah, this one. If anything, it lasts longer and it doesn't, the, sh the shape literally stays the same, like it won't change. So this is honestly really good um, and it is so pigmented. So I'm literally just gonna line my lash line. I'm going to use the Benefit Bowed Girl Bang. This is honestly the best mascara I've ever used. And I've got quite a few of them and most of them have dried out. And all I've done was spray the brush with a spray of this. And it's like brand new again. It's honestly so good. So it's just, it lasts ages and it's just incredible. Like literally incredible. So I'm just going to put a generous amount on to my lashes. Mm -hmm. This road that I am on, I gotta stay here. Okay, and then for lashes, I'm gonna be using these ones, which were meant to be launched already, but I don't know when these are gonna launch now, so I'm just gonna keep using them and just wait until all of this is over but i promise you that i literally want to launch them as soon as possible so yeah i just i don't know when it's going to be so keep updated on my youtube instagram and amyrose.cosmetics to find out when these will be launching because we haven't got an actual date yet obviously with everything going on it's out of our control so yeah bad timing but it's all good Okay, so I'm just going to pop my lashes on. I really like to do it with eyelash tweezers. Um, so I just pop them like that. And you're good to go. They're literally so easy to put on. Like, they're so easy and they're so comfortable. And oh, I just love them so much. And I've just got glue on my eyelid. But now the lashes are on, I'm going to pop some blush on. This is the Corderosa one from Sigma. And I wear that I need to clean my brushes they are so dirty but this is like my perfect shade when it comes to blush so I pop a generous amount on and then for highlighter I'm going to use again the same one I was using for my tear duct and stuff and I just get a big brush like this and just sort of dust it on I don't like the line effect anymore I just sort of like it to look a little bit I was going to say natural but that's going to be horrible in the comments but a little bit just more so like if the light catches it it looks a bit more shimmery so I just pop a little bit like that and blend it out with my finger then my favorite part which is the lips I'm going to pop some lip balm on this is very much needed at the moment and then of course this is my go-to look so what other lip liner am i going to use apart from the rimmel cappuccino so i'm just going to line my lip and then i'm going to use the rimmel i use a lot of rimmel products this is the i think i don't know if this is the kate moss one but it's the lasting finish in the shade 40 it's literally the perfect combination these two together literally my perfect nude and then to set everything in place i'm going to use the nyx matte finish matte setting spray this is so good so i cover my eyes and i just spray it everywhere okay so now my makeup is all done i'm now going to take out my hair and it's definitely given it time for the curls to sort of cool down and then when you brush it out it's just a lot more wavy so i'm just going to grab my brush this is a tangle teaser style and i'm sort of just going to brush the curls out like this and then i'm going to get my straightener and just straighten the bits that are a little bit wavy and distorted and then I'm also going to use these two products. I use a lot of Lee Stafford because I love the smell of their products and they're just really good. So I'm going to pop some hair oil in first. I just do one pump of this onto my hand. A little goes a long way and then I rub it in and then just go through the ends of the hair. 
so and it gets rid of the sort of frizz you can sort of zhuzh it up a little bit and then another product i like to use is their shine spray and this obviously does what it says it just gives your hair that extra shine try not to put loads in the root again because your hair will look a little bit more greasy but yeah i literally love how my hair looks every single time i use these curlers they literally never fail to disappoint so i love them so much okay so i've literally just put my hair this side of my hair behind me and behind my ear i just feel like it's more me i don't know i always do my hair like this um but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have please do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you're new to my channel i will list everything that i've shown you guys in today's video in the description box down below especially the foxy lock 7 in 1 curling wand let me know if you guys get it it's really good to practice on and there's so many different ones obviously there's seven so you can practice so many different hairstyles and it's just really good so yeah let me know in the comments down below if you do purchase it and what your favorite product is in the video and if you recreate this hair and makeup look but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and hopefully i will see you all in my next one bye those days are gone you're alone Then I think of how to play We used to be Then I think of how